So the next step we have is to add the header to our document. And this is, as anybody remembers, this is the one that uh, we're going to add as our header logo. Um, it's a transparent PNG, and I've, this is, it's about 680 pixels wide. Uh, and there's a reason for having it so big is because I want it to be able to fill a full screen size at 600 pixels so it has to be above that size uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to shrink it down using HTML and CSS so the first thing we need to do is we need to put in our header into our document and HTML5 has created a couple of nice little short tags uh, previous to this we would have done div equals uh, either a class or a, an ID of header but now you can just go ahead and type in header um, and there's specific tags for that so you have your opening and closing header tags now inside of this header we're going to place our logo but what I want to do is I want to give our header a class because this isn't going to be the only header we're going to use on the page uh, so what we want to do is give it a class of site header So now that we've given it our class, the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and put our logo into it. Now I've taken the liberty of putting our logo into our images file. So you know how to do that at this stage, there's no need for me to recover that. So our logo is in our images file there. So again, we're going to start by doing, we know where it is, so it's an image tag uh, with a source. So we have to tell it where it is. We can browse to it, uh, but I think we'll go ahead and we'll do it the long way. So it's in underscore images forward slash logo dot png uh, and we also want to do our alt again our alt is vital this is very very important when you're putting an image in for screen readers and things like that it's a good habit to get into you want to be as descriptive as possible about the things that are on your your website so get your alt tags in there it's just descriptive text as to what it is now it's not really important here because I'm not going to be submitting this to search engine so it doesn't really make any difference now you can go one step further and you can actually give it a title uh, and what happens with a title when you hover over it is the name or the, the text that you put in here is going to be shown an, a, as a hover state on it so once we have that much done um, we can save that and we'll go ahead and we create our rule so remember we created the gave it a class of site header so we want to go to our style CSS and we want to create a rule for the image that's contained within the site header so in order to target that specific image we create a class of site header and we're going to target the image that's contained within that site header and it's that simple so we'll close out our rule again now the rule we want to give it first of all is we want to give it a width now the width is kind of important in this in the sense that we want it to have a particular width and we want it to remain constant regardless of what size the browser is so we go ahead and we give it a width now we're not going to give it a pixel width because if we give it a pixel width it's going to stay a fixed width but what we're going to do is we're going to give it a width of a percentage which is 30 percent and that guarantees that it'll stay 30 percent the width of the header no matter what size browser you're looking at it on what size window now this is for the desktop version of the site we change the rule later on for the mobile or for the handheld version of the site but for now we're working on the just get that into your head we're working on the desktop version of the site just we're catering for different monitors and screen sizes at this point so the next thing we want to do is I want to give it a height of auto just as a kind of a fail safe so that it resizes automatically and the next thing that I want to do with it is I want to give it some margins so I want to pull it away from the top and I want to make sure that it has a bit of room on the bottom as well so but I want the left and right margins are going to be fine on it uh, so it, in order to give it a margin top and bottom we just give it a standard margin property now we could go margin top margin bottom margin right margin left but I don't want to do that so there's an easier way to do that we can call them uh, this way so we can say top and bottom of two percent and left and right of zero and that's how you write it so you have your top and bottom two percent and your left and right of zero so if we save that now and what we'll do is we'll put the files to the browser or to the server and if we go to our browser and we refresh that image there we go our browser is resized and there's one little thing you can do here is if we resize it you can see it gets smaller we pull it out it doesn't lose proportion it stays the same with the same ratio height and, and width ratio but it just it, it resizes dependent on the browser